The aim of the following experiment is to observe the effect that different types of freeze-drying formulations have on cell survival. To begin, different formulations to freeze-dry a cell culture are prepared. Next, each formulation is mixed with the cell culture, then freeze-dried and later rehydrated. And the survival rates are measured. The results show differences in survival rates that can be linked to the characterized properties. This method can help you understand what physical and structural properties of a formulation that are of importance for cell survival during dehydration. To prepare a starter culture of Pseudomonas putida, begin by inoculating 100 milliliters of triptych soy broth, or TSB, with a colony of cells that have been cultured on agar supplemented with triptych soy broth, or TSB. Incubate the culture at 30 degrees Celsius, shaking at 130 RPM for 7 hours. Transfer an aliquot of the culture to fresh TSB and grow for 16 hours. Harvest the cells by centrifugation at 1500 times G for 20 minutes at room temperature. Wash the cell pellet by resuspending it in 150 millimolar sodium chloride. Pellet the cells and resuspend them in formulation medium. To prepare formulation solutions for freeze drying cells, weigh out the respective matrix components and dissolve them in water. To achieve isotonic conditions, adjust the solution with the excipient, sodium chloride, or other cell compatible solutes. To homogeneously resuspend cells in a low